Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. It seems like half my clients blame their parents for their malaise. He called me stupid. She ignored me. They were overprotective. And indeed, much psychotherapy involves the search for parental causation of the client's unhappiness. In a small attempt at providing balance, maybe these questions will unearth positives in your parents and guardians that can enhance your life. Number one. What's your mother's best behavior at work? For example, was she clearly ethical? What was her career? How did she work? For example, did she prioritize work-life balance, work as primary, domestic activities as primary, or play as primary? How about your father? And there, your father's best behavior at work. How about any other guardian's best behavior at work? For example, my dad's best work-life behavior was his quiet but strong work ethic. Also, although he quietly acceded to my mom's desire for mater material things, he himself asked little for himself other than some peace and quiet after his 12-hour work days. Question two, what were your mother's main recreations and your father's and any other guardians? For example, my mom's best rec recreations were singing around the house and throwing generous parties at which, although we were far from wealthy, she served a veritable buffet of savories and then sweets. Question three. What was your parents' best ritual? For example, my mom insisted on having family dinner every night. My dad came home too late for that, around 8.30 you know, p.m., but my mom's sister and I had dinner together every night at around 6. I resented it, usually because I wanted to keep playing basketball till later, but I've since come to appreciate its value. Question four. What is or was your mother's most appealing hobby? How about your father's? How about any other guardians you may have had? For example, my dad's main hobby was growing tomatoes and giving the extras to neighbors and friends. Also, he made homemade pickles in an oak barrel, just as his father had in Poland. And the fifth and final question is, what is or was your mother's best attribute? What was or is your father's? How about any other guardians? My parents' best attribute was resilience. Despite being Holocaust survivors, both of them spent their life looking forward. My father working hard and my mother being a party girl. I loved and have oft repeated my father's favorite line. Martin, the Nazis took five years from my life. I won't give them one minute more. Martin, never look back. Always take the next step forward. Do your answers to these questions suggest at least one thing you want to do more of, less of, or differently? For example, maybe you want to emulate one of your parents' core behaviors, or might you want to take on one of their avocations, or even his or her career, or did they have a family ritual you'd like to carry on? Our parents may have had negative effects on us, but it's rare that they didn't also yield positives. In today's era of blaming parents, Maybe it couldn't hurt to take a moment to honor thy mother and father. In any event, I thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments. I love it when you hit the share button below and share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I'm flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.